The House recently passed a measure that would do very little for mid-sized transit agencies. It's time for another episode of Bells and Whistles. Hello everyone, Bill Wilson, Editor-in-Chief of Railway Track and Structures Magazine, with the top stories we were following the week ending June 19th. Number 4. The House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee approved the Invest in America Act, and the American Shortline and Regional Association notes both positive advancements and opportunities to improve the legislation. Invest offers a significant increase in the authorized funding levels for the Consolidated Rail Infrastructure Safety Improvements, or CRISI, program. Number three, the Austin City Council and Capital Metro approved a $9.8 billion Project Connect system plan. Officials are counting on a $4.4 billion contribution from the federal government, but the rest of the finances will have to be generated from an 11 cent tax rate increase that will be on the November ballot. The project features a $2.5 billion subway system in downtown Austin. Number two, the HEROES Act, which was passed by the House of Representatives to serve as a second shot of federal stimulus money, would not provide additional funding for most mid-sized transit agencies. Almost $12 billion of the $15 billion committed to transit in the measure would be reserved for regions that have at least 3 million people. That leaves mid-sized agencies to fight over $4 billion in application-based grant program money. Number one, Floor, one of the three contractors on the Purple Line project in Maryland, has experienced cost overruns on several other projects. A Securities and Exchange Commission investigation is looking to see if Floor properly accounted for $714 million in cost overruns and other expenses in 2019. Purple Line Transit Constructors continues to negotiate with the state of Maryland. The two sides have until June 20th to reach an agreement or the builders will walk off the job. This is your last chance to nominate a deserving engineer for RTNS's Engineer of the Year Award. The winner will be recognized at ARIMA's annual meeting and expo in September in Dallas. The deadline is in less than one week, June 26th. To nominate, use the URL you see on your screen. That's a look at the top news stories we were following the week ending June 19th. For the latest news, go to www.rtns.com. You can also find us on social media. We are on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great weekend, everyone.